Hey y'all, happy Friday. For those of you who are a part of my broadcast most days, you're probably wondering if it is Friday, but just to clarify, it is. <laughs> so real quick, we're gonna be short again today because honestly, I'm sitting in my car and it's hot and probably the Wi-Fi is gonna crap out on me. So if you've never been on Praying for Your Husband Daily before, well, hey girl, hey, welcome, stick around. Let me give you the two second skinny on me. I'm a Christian, I'm a wife, been married to my husband for 10 years, and I'm sitting in the parking lot of my son, my two-year-old son's school, about to pick him up for a play date. How fun. So that's me in a nutshell, Christian wife, mama, little bit diva, I think that about does it. But I have a passion for just real talking about the highs and lows, daily struggles of wanting to honor God in your marriage. Um, Christina, yes, happy Pizza Friday. I'm actually not sure if I'm having pizza today since we totally went cray cray and had pizza on Wednesday. My husband has also been sick, so I'm not sure if he is even feeling up to, I don't know. I don't know what we're doing tonight. It's one of those kind of days. So um, that kind of cues today's topic. I think I said for mutual understanding. Um, I love the shock faces that you guys are saying right now because you're not sure if I'm having pizza. The truth is, is I would have pizza every day of my existence, but sometimes he gets like burnt out on it. I don't understand. I just don't understand. So I could see him saying, well, we just had pizza the other night let's have chicken soup. It's very possible because he's not feeling well. So if that's the case, I will get him Panera soup and I'll get something else from Panera. Right? Right. I mean, I already had breakfast and lunch from Panera today. Anyway, I'm digressing. So if you've never been on these videos before, let me just tell you what we do. We take something super practical about marriage and we chat about it real quick because you know girls like to talk. And then we lift it up in prayer, recognizing that every single area of our marriage can and should be covered in prayer on a consistent basis so that one, we're constantly growing in our relationship with God because that's what prayer is all about. And number two, we're consistently growing as wives because I don't know about you, but I need to be growing as a wife like faster or something. So um, today I said we'd pray for mutual understanding because I feel like that's what I need from my husband right now. Can I get an amen? Ugh. So, um, like I said and have been saying, he's not been feeling well. And I feel a little bit like, um, <laughs> hi Katie. Um, I feel a little bit like I'm, oh, I don't know, like burning the candle at both ends. What's another phrase? Treading water, um, sucking at life. I mean, they're all the same. And, um, hey Maggie, I miss you in real life. Um, so I feel that way. And, as much as I feel that way, if I stop and think for more than a millisecond about how my husband probably feels, he feels that way too, right? He totally must. Because if I stop and think for a millisecond about the daily pressures and challenges and responsibilities that are on my husband's shoulders, it's enough to make someone feel that way all the time. So if he's feeling that way and I'm feeling that way, the best thing I can pray for is for mutual understanding because what comes so easily, I was talking with my best friend about this today, what comes easily is to take it out on each other. Like, because that's what we do. We just, we take out our stress, our, our anxiety, our tiredness. We take it out on those that are, um, our most closest to us. We take it out on them just like without even thinking. It just happens. And so what if we were to combat that with praying in advance that our husbands would have kind of that, that grace, that understanding that even though they're carrying a lot, we're also carrying a lot. Um, and if I just stopped and like filtered my responses through that lens of he's, a, he's got a lot going on. It's not that he doesn't care that I have a lot going on. It's that he has a lot going on too. And so let me just think that through, say a little prayer before I respond, and then hope and trust that he'll do the same thing for me. But my whole like life prerogative when it comes to wifing is even if he doesn't do that thing, I would be wise to do that thing on my end. I want God to be pleased with the way I pursue him and the way I pursue my husband, the way I conduct myself as a wife. And so if there's something I want my husband to do, I'm 
certainly um, supposed to, and I recommend and I encourage you to pray for him to begin doing that thing or to do it more or to stop doing whatever it is that's coming to mind as we talk about that. But I can't, I can't not do what I'm supposed to do or wait to do what I'm supposed to do or do more of what I know I'm not supposed to do because he's not doing those things. Now, you wouldn't say it out loud that you're doing that, but sometimes we do that. We give ourselves almost like the out or the excuse that, well, he's not doing his part as much as he's supposed to, so I don't have to do mine. And that is like the cultural view of marriage where it's like, marriage is 50-50. I'm making a face, but you can't see it because I have my glasses on. But I have no makeup on, and so we're just doing this. Okay, okay. Um, marriage is not 50-50. It's 100-100. That way, if he's not doing his 100, there's still 100. I know. It's hard. But there are going to be times where you're not able to give your 100, and you need your husband to be giving the 100. And you got to do your part before God, regardless of whether or not he's doing his to that max ability. So all that being said, I know I need a little extra understanding toward my husband and from my husband. And because I can't just say, Hey babe, I've noticed you've been a little short with me. So can you be nicer to me? I mean, I can say that. I mean, I got to think it through and say it a little, you know, more prayerfully, more, uh, I don't know. I, I can maybe say that, but a lot of times I find I don't actually need to say those things. I need to take that to God and ask God to work that out in my husband and ask God to filter my thinking, speaking, acting through how will I most honor God in the way I treat my husband. So all that being said, I would like to see my husband give me a little grace because I've been a little overwhelmed this week. But at the same time, I recognize that I've been a little short on where I'm giving him grace because he's not feeling well. He's got, you know what he's got? He's got the man flu. You've all had that. Where your husband is sick. I'm just going to leave it at that. Just going to leave it at that. So let's pray for some mutual understanding in our households, ladies, and then go on and enjoy our pizza. So who is having pizza today? This is going to help me decide if I really kind of push for more pizza or if I do the whole whatever you feel like babe and as I'm saying that the answer is I will do whatever you feel like babe because he hasn't been feeling well right and like when you're sick you don't want to be told what to eat for dinner I guess all right all right Maggie I want to eat pizza with you that would be so fun okay it's telling me my connection is weak so hurry let's get to the praying part so that we can tell Facebook to calm down and just let us finish the video together all right Let's get to the praying. God, thank you so much for who you are and thank you for the fact that you give us, oh, so much more understanding than we could ever deserve. So I'm thankful, God, for the fact that what you call me to do as a wife is ultimately just to emulate you, to imitate you, to seek to be like you to my husband. That's my number one primary job is to be the closest representation of Jesus in my husband's life. And so, God, thank you for that reminder, the simplicity of that reminder today. Um, I pray that you would help me to lean into that responsibility and that privilege and that honor and that gift. Um, not see it as a burden or a task, but as a life, um, a life purpose, a life goal, a life project to fully devote myself to. And God, as we think about our husbands, we know that they have a lot going on in their lives right now. Some may be more than others. Some may be in a difficult season. Some may just be in a busy season. Um, but there are certainly times in any marriage where both parties really just need to t stop and take a step back and recognize um, all that the other person is dealing with um, and give them grace, give them extra understanding. So God, would you allow us as wives to give that to our husbands this weekend? And would you help them to be wise and understanding and gracious with us as well as they recognize the burdens that we carry as the homemaker and uh, the peacemaker and uh, the mother in some cases. And some of us are also juggling jobs and um, we all have a lot to manage and we all want to honor you well with it. And we know our husbands want to honor you as well. So would you just give us all um, the grace and the ability to recognize where we're falling short in these areas, um, to not be caught up in self-condemnation, but instead to reaffirm our commitment to seeking you first and foremost, God, and then to, um, 
to honoring you and the relationship that you've given us as a wife. So help us to pursue our husband, um, to value him, to look at him, to notice him, to hear him, to serve him. And God, would you give our husbands that same desire to look at us, to notice us, to serve us, to appreciate us, to love us like Jesus does. God, thank you for the gift of marriage. Thank you for um, the fact that you desire that we would honor you and glorify you in it. And so we ask that you would equip us to do that. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. All right, y'all. Barbecue chicken. That's what I had on my salad today, Christina. It was pretty yummy. All right, guys. Thanks so much for praying with me. Have an awesome weekend. All the pizza emojis to all of you pizza buddies. Um, and I will see you on Monday. Feel free to pass this video along if you know another friend who wants some practical real talk about praying um, for her husband daily. And feel free to send me a topic suggestion. I haven't gotten one in a while. So y'all hit me up on things you want to cover next week as we continue to pray together. See ya then.